Welcome home, brave heroes. I am Ash, and these are the submissions to the 2024 Quest Jam. Be advised, there will be spoilers ahead. And now, onward. Time enough for now. By Blackbird7. The unholy high priest Melrook has stopped time in order to facilitate a ritual to resurrect the demon Kulthun. Mentor's magic will protect you from the time stoppage for a short while as you descend the stairs to the temple and put an end to Melrook's meddling. Each hero to return will receive a hundred gold pieces. Another 150 gold pieces each awaits the hero who strikes down Melruk or Kulthun. Onward, Time Stopped Heroes. The time stoppage affects all living monsters in this dungeon. They cannot move, act, or be damaged. Reasonably, undead monsters are not affected by this. But Mentor's magic will protect the heroes for a number of turns equal to their mind points times four. For example, this means the Barbarian would be safe for eight rounds the Dwarf for 12, the Elf for 16, and the Wizard for 24 turns. If the stoppage is in effect at the end of these turns, the relevant hero will have to roll lower than their mind points on a red die or else succumb and be frozen. The flow of this particular quest is very interesting to me. Your heroes are mainly going to be exploring, trying to find Melruk or Kutung as soon as they can, and fighting undead but nothing else along the way. They'll be able to search for traps and treasure and secret doors. Sorry to spoil this one, but if you look for secret doors, you'll find the secret door and also the cupboard will move. It actually swings over to the adjacent wall, revealing the goblins behind it. How cool is that? One of the problems that the heroes may face, however, is if they choose the wrong route, one of two, they'll be in Kulthun's room, but he won't yet be awakened, and it will be impossible to do anything here except for destroy the mummies and escape through the back exit. This leads back to the first room, so I suppose the short way to this room is possible as well, finding the secret door in the corridor and entering this room, but that's a lot of turns wasted. The other route wraps around the lower left quadrant, and one can find this series of strange rooms. But if the heroes ignore it and this patrol, they will eventually find the room containing Melruk, the dread sorcerer. I like the quest note for this room very much. The warlock is Melruk. Deep in meditation, he appears to be chanting something. Melruk will awaken and take an immediate action when he is attacked, all unfrozen heroes enter the room, or any one hero exits the room. When Melruk acts, the time stoppage ends. Frozen creatures may move and act. All seven rock traps across the map will immediately fall. This warlock knows the Chaos Bell's lightning bolt and cloud of chaos. And after Zargon's first turn, once this room is opened, the tomb explodes, damaging all creatures in the room for one body point. Replace the tomb with a gargoyle. This is Kulthun, and he knows the Chaos Spell Escape. So again, just praising the flow here, I really like that the quest moves this way, splits in one of two directions, and then comes back. Lots of red herrings, lots of things the heroes don't need to waste their time on, but seem to be cleverly placed to entice the heroes to waste their turns before they too succumb to the freezing of time. Perhaps there truly is time enough for now, or perhaps your heroes will be trapped in these halls forever. Will you be able to escape? Thank you, Blackbird7, for this awesome quest. The Tower of the Dread Witch by Terry Eugene Clark. A dread witch has been experimenting with dangerous summoning magics. I have tracked her to her lair. Now, brave heroes, you must climb and stop her. The risks are great. Do not attempt this quest without a lot of resources. And it is here we are, gently reminded that heroes should have completed the original quests and banked several potions before attempting this quest. Now this ought to be interesting. This comes from the mind of one of our more youthful homebrewers, but the son of a seasoned HQ Enjoyer. Yah, yah, let's get this show on the road already. The rogue carelessly leads the party down the hallway, where they can hear the hum of machinery? Wait, what's going on in here? This 10 BP ogre stops his workout on this Pilates machine to attack you. The ogre's pouch contains 25 gold coins. The orcs in the next room are training against each other. You know, I feel bad for interrupting this training session, but uh, yeah, I gotta say, you can really tell that you're getting the gains there, Mr. Ogre. The Pilates machine has brought your body points up to 10. A true ogre. More ogres should have these machines. <laughs> and only after a somewhat long and arduous battle, we're ready to go in there and interrupt the orcs training. But you know, if you're playing this quest for the second time, I, I would leave these guys alone. 25 gold coins, that that's soda money. This ogre was probably just going to go grab a protein bar from the vending machine down the hall or something. 
we discover that the wandering monster in this quest is a Magus Guard, and the elf dies. You will not be searching for treasure again. I was kind of surprised to see that this room didn't have any quest notes. It seems like a comfortable respite, though. A spot for the heroes to strategize and come up with a plan for where to go next. I say we go down the hallway, which is the only place for us to go. That's a good plan. I like it. The very next door leads into a seemingly empty room that's also very interesting. There's a lovely setup here, very cozy. Ignore the bloodied ribs on the floor, that's got nothing to do with anything. But you can't hide anything from the rogue. And, sure enough, the bookcase slides over to reveal a secret door. The other heroes decide to explore the back room and, oh, it's, it's dread sorcerers. It's just dread sorcerers, there's no pomp, there's no circumstance, there's no special reward. They're just chanting words in an ancient language, and it can roughly be translated to, you should have brought potions of healing. Not quite so much a big deal, but we'll explore the adjacent room now, and oh, it's a dread warrior. I'm starting to not like the surprises. I think we're just gonna go down the hallway and get to the very end of it before we open any more doors. You, wait just a minute. That voice, is that? Oi, it's me, Cornelius the Dragon. I er, am here to give you a... Helpful advice. Explore every single room. You won't regret it. <laughs> I've never listened to advice from a dragon before, and something tells me we will absolutely regret it. So let's not. I don't know. I think he seemed like a pretty trustworthy fellow. What's in here? Ow, oh, it's a Magus guard. No pomp, no circumstance, no reward. Just a Magus guard. Our luck runs out with the rogue. The two remaining heroes decide to explore the room behind the bookcase. Should the heroes search for secret doors before opening the other doors in this library, the noise of their search alerts the monsters. Open all doors in this quadrant as soon as the heroes search. Whoopsie. You know, it worked out for the monsters anyway. Hey, this chest contains two waters of healing scrolls and a random spell scroll. And there's also a door in the floor. Nothing bad ever came of that. Search for traps? There are none. Search for secret doors? There are none. Our heroes, emboldened, healed, and confident, open the door. And, of course, that disturbs the spirits in the crypt. Note, there are a lot of spirits in this crypt. In fact, they are infinite. You'll spawn three skeletons, and as soon as the heroes take care of them, three more skeletons will spawn. Well, the quest notes say resurrect. I suppose that's technically different. But they'll continue doing so until the mummies in the next room are slayed. Still feeling pretty good? The heroes search for secret doors. If they do this, Sargon, you must ask if they would like to pry open the coffin of a great hero, and if they do, they'll find a treasure hoard inside. The quest notes don't say how much this is, so use your interpretation. The moment is finally here. We have found the Dread Witch. She casts Summon Wolves immediately when the door opens. On her next turn, she casts Summon Spectres, and she also knows Summon Undead and Summon Orcs. If the heroes can defeat the Dread Witch, the wizard may memorize one spell from the witch's spellbook. Treat this spell like a spell scroll. And if the wizard learns a summon monster spell, those monsters remain on the board and under the hero's control for four turns before they dissipate. Can you defeat the Dread Witch in time? Thank you, Terry, for this awesome quest. Beautiful treasure. The treasure, <laughs> it's all mine. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Legacy of Legacy of the Orc Warlord by David Clark. This is a bit of a bonus quest, not technically eligible to win the jam, not technically an entry, but one that I wish to present anyway. This is the legacy of the legacy of Orc Warlord. You heard that right. On what was to be their triumphal return from defeating the Witch Lord, the heroes were waylaid. We have bided our time, and now, new heroes, I send you Knight, Monk, Bard, and Warlock to rescue them. Oh, I'm gonna need homemade heroes. Hold on. <clears throat> that is to say, knight, monk, uh, deal with it, bard, again, deal with it, and warlock, to rescue them. Move quickly, for Kragulg's tribe is out raiding, but should they return, your escape will be perilous. This quest assumes that the standard heroes have completed the base game and were fully outfitted at capture. The heroes, along with their equipment, are hidden in the dungeon. When rescued, assign control of those heroes, as makes sense at your table. Most awesome, we get a rescue mission, and it's a fully defined rescue mission with the heroes being actually called out here. You've got a specific role to play, players. Hold on, is that, is that, a, is that a blue paint chip on my, oh man. 
whatever. He's a goblin fanatic. He's a servant of chaos in the real world. All right, any orc or goblin uh, monsters, not the heroes, of course, starting their turn in a hallway can open one door. When they do, reveal the room's contents. Any monsters revealed may act immediately. But it makes sense to me that our heroes can see these monsters in their line of sight as soon as they start the quest and would probably want to immediately exterminate them. So uh, that's going to happen with this playthrough, I think. Excuse me, does pretty contemporary hero quest orc lady maybe want to give Bard a kiss? Ooh, he struck out. Despite some initial flubbings, with some teamwork, our heroes are able to clear the upper right quadrant. But what's painful about this is that there are no quest notes for these rooms. So when I go in here and search for treasure, thinking that I'm going to get something special, instead, I get the wandering monster note of this quest, which reads as follows. You feel a sense of impending dread and subtract one body point from the starting BP of a jailed hero. When I set this quest up, I was more than certain that these heroes were going to be the heroes that we actually play, having looked at the map before I looked at the quest notes, and I thought, okay, we're each going to be escaping our cell, and outside every cell is a guard. This made sense until I looked to see who was guarding outside the wizard's cell. But no, these are the heroes that you are rescuing, and they are getting poked at by their oppressors in their cells, or perhaps they are just injured or sick as is, and time is of the essence, brave heroes. Nothing to do here except go to the center room, get ambushed by these orcs, destroy them, and continue our journey. If the heroes manage to find this treasure room, they'll find that each chest contains the equipment and spells for one imprisoned hero. It can be carried, but not donned by another hero. It takes a full turn for an unequipped hero to don equipment. It looks like this Magus guard is going to have to die in order for the heroes to get his set of keys. He carries four keys, and each unlocks a door marked F on the quest map. As one can guess, that's these doors here, marked by the portcullises. If you don't find the equipment, this is going to play out a lot like the rescue of Sir Ragnar times four. At least you guys will know not to be searching for treasure. Uh, I mean, well, actually, you can search for treasure all you want. It's not a guarantee that you'll get a wandering monster card. It's just likely, you know? This feels good. It's like all of the vanguard and cavalry are together now. Old and new, contemporary and classic. A marriage of heroism. But be careful. As soon as one of the original heroes exits this hole, the raiding party returns. And I'm here to tell you that the raiding party is sized appropriately for the band of heroes that you now have. One group arrives per turn from either the front door or the secret door in the hallway if it was found and opened. The orcs that arrive are actually orc archers. Here's where you can pull out your Warhammer quest minis if you've got them. The third group of enemies is not a group, but just an ogre, and that means Mage of the Mirror Ogre, and that means 10 body points. Our heroes will be attacked from all sides by the incoming, encroaching raiding party. But despite the powerful warlord and sorcerer that will arrive, I believe in our newfound party of heroes, our band of brothers, to destroy this chaotic threat. Thank you, David, for this legacy to play these quests and the other epic quests submitted to the 2024 Quest Jam, please visit the link in the description below. Now onward, brave heroes.